Hi everyone, this is Autopostrophe. Let's check out uh, the adventures of Bertram Fiddle a Bleaker Predicament on Nintendo Switch. We had a lot of fun with the first game, so uh, let's check out the second game. Eh, uh, not much here. At least they have subtitles. Which is more I can say for like some AAA productions out there. Chapter 1, An Unexpected Occurrence. Asleep again, Fiddle. This will never do. Everyone else has finished their work and gone home hours ago. You're still three short of your daily quota. This is not good enough, Fiddle. <laughs> uh, sorry, Mr. Dullsworth. Uh, I'll get those seen to right at once. Let yourself out when you're done. I shall be in my office attending to business, and I don't want to be disturbed. Yes, Mr. Dullsworth. Someone is calling me? Hello. Mr. Fuddle. Mr. Bertram Fuddle. Yes, but it's actually Bertram Fiddle. It's close enough, Mr. Fuddle. This is Mr. Dullsworth's mother. I'm calling you because I hear you have some detectivating experience. Well, yes, I do have a certain reputation for sleuthfulness. Very good. I need someone to do some investigating for me. And as I've been unable to get hold of the esteemed Mr. Holmes, you will have to suffice. Um, certainly, madam. Let me be brief, Mr. Fiddle. My son has been acting most peculiar recently. Find out what he is up to and report back to my house immediately. Good gracious. This seems like the beginning of an adventure. I must finish my work here as quickly as possible. <laughs> Mr. Alfred Grumston. A-I-C-I-I. The telegramizery board isn't responding. Why isn't it working? Oh, another fuse. Aha! I'll put this in my pocket until I want to use it. Selling soap is thirsty work. Telegrammatic fuse capacitor for powering highly technological calling devices and the like. The telegrammizery board isn't res- Oh, the fuse capacitator- Oh, you have to click and drag this time around. Okay. Telegram circuits on. Fuse capacitator fusing. Time to sell some soap. Hmm. Who seems like a suitable customer? Hello. Who is this? Greetings. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an ex- How did you get this number? Do you know what time it is? It's 
It's my relaxing time. That's what it is. Do I sound relaxed to you? Do I? I'm terribly sorry. Sorry? I'll make you sorry. Don't ever call this number again. <laughs> Hello! Greetings, madam. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company. Would you like to buy some soap? What flavour? Flavour? Um, sort of cleany, flowery? I love soup. I'll buy some. Sorry, madam. I think you misheard me. I said soap, not soup. Oh, that is a shame. I really wanted to buy some soup. Well, this soap does make a tasty broth. It does? Then I'll buy a packet. Thank you. Jolly good. <clears throat> <laughs> So picky. Hello, Mr. Spongewell speaking. Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? Not today, thank you. I'm quite clean enough. Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? How rude! Goodbye! I mean, Marigold Glumsfield. Yes? Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? No. Didn't think so. <laughs> Mr. Oliver Grottle. Mr. Grottle's residence. Would you be interested in a bar of our new and improved, even more adequate soap? Soap? No. Not now, not never. Soap bad. Melts you, it does. Right. I'll put that down as a no, then. Mr. Keith de Botchere. Ah, oh, sounds like a friend of mine. <laughs> okay, a friend is me. Yes? Greetings! I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer. Go on. Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? Whatever for? Well, it is very good for cleaning. Does it remove stubborn stains, like... Blood, for example. Um, probably. Oh, well then. I'll take five, no, six packets right away. Ooh, jolly good. Mr. Guy Hardwood. <laughs> Not all the humor's gonna win, huh? Guy Hardwood speaking. What do you want? Come on, come on, spit it out! I ain't got all day! I'm an exceptionally impotent person! Greetings! I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer! Fiddle! You old dog! Is that you? Uh, no, no, most definitely not! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, is there nobody else? Must have hit the button too many times. Uh -huh. Horatio Spatter. Oh, my eyes! Speak up, my eyes are hurting. Greetings! I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer. Dullsworth, you say? 
I got some Dullsworth shampoo in my eyes and couldn't see for weeks. And it still stings. I wouldn't use that stuff on my cats. It's a menace. Goodbye. Little quinge. Mr. Quinge is speaking. Hello, I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company. And? Would you perchance be interested in purchasing some of our perfectly adequate soap? Whatever for? Its unique formula is guaranteed to make you fairly clean. I don't have time for this newfangled cleanliness in my life. Goodbye. <laughs> Mr. Bob Gullibles. Ah, uh -huh, Gullible, huh? Ah, uh ah. -huh. Hopefully he buys some soap. Hello, who is this? Hello, sir. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer just for you. Really? Just for me? How delightful. Yes, yes it is. For a limited period only, we are offering you a free flannel with every bar of adequate soap you buy. A free flannel, you say? Ooh, wonderful. I'll take one, please. Really? I mean, excellent. I shall have those dispatched to you right away. At last, my work is done. I need Mr. Dullsworth to stamp my work ticket. Mr. Dullsworth? Mr. Dullsworth? Wherever could he be? <laughs> well, I never saw him leave. Mrs. Dullsworth was right. He is up to something. I wonder if he's in the closet. These look like the clothes he was just wearing. A secret exit. Mrs. Dullsworth, a formidable woman. Her eyes seem to follow you around the room. Oh my, sales of soap are slipping. And look at the cost of ink. It's extortionate. The witty motivational painting. Wait, there's something behind it. It's an Emerson and Burke safety safe. Solid as a rock. What a tidy desk. A photograph of his mother. He must love her very much. A souvenir from the delightful town of Grimsthorpe. Mr. Dullsworth's stamping machine. I'm sure I will be permitted to use it in his absence. Bother! It's inkless. Hand lotion. He must like keeping his skin soft. These are debtor's letters. Mr. Dullsworth isn't as squeaky clean as everyone thinks. Mr. Dullsworth's work diary. So this is what he does in here all day. Ideas for new products. Unobjectively scented candles. Cheese flavored soap. Extra long soap. More frothage. Uh, turnip cleaner. Shampoo that doesn't burn the eyes. I may ask JVG when it when it will happen. Haven't I've been waiting ever so patiently for the right moment, but somehow one always forgets. I've become so forgetful lately. I've become so forgetful lately. I can't go on like this much longer. Mother is starting to get suspicious. I feel her watching me always. Turn that frown upside down. I wonder if something is bothering him. Hell, 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 hell. All work and no play makes Algernon a good boy. <laughs> Turn the frown upside down. Met JVG and EM at 7 p.m. this evening. Tonight I will get my revenge on MC. I will make Mother proud. Stupid cat. He can't tell me what to think. He can't. He can't. Remember to buy buns. Oh my! Sales.
coils of soap are slipping. And look at the cost of ink. It's a This must be how he sneaks in and out without anyone noticing. Mr. Dullsworth is slipperier than he looks. What does Mr. Dullsworth need a secret tunnel for? I can see the soap making machines. It's bolted tight. He's got clean away. Oh, extra adequate soap. It smells perfectly acceptable. Oh. Good evening, Mr. Fiddles. Working late again. That lovely wife of yours must be very proud. Indeed she is, Mr. Tibbs. But this is merely a short-term position until I find myself a suitable adventure. Of course, sir. I understand. I actually am an author. Romance novels is my thing. This job is merely to pay the bills until I get myself a publishing deal. Good for you, Tibbs. Now, if you will open the gate, I'll be off. I'm afraid you can't leave until you've finished your work. Complete your work to get proof you are a remarkably adequate soap salesperson. That's right, I forget it's a drag man. Click. I'm afraid you can't leave until you've finished your work. Rules is rules, Mr. Fiddles. I can't open the gate unless I get a stamped work ticket. Barrels of unexceptional shampoo. Imagine the lather we'd be in if something happened to them. Maybe one more. Really? It's like drinking cat's piddle. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm already stuck. Well, this is definitely not like the first game. <laughs> Okay, so I need some ink. Oh my! Sales of soap are slipping. And look at the cost of ink! It's extortionate! Hmm. What a tidy desk! Mr. Dullsworth's work diary. So this is what... Turn that frown upside down. A souvenir from the... Hand lotion. It's hmm. pink. A 
What a tidy desk. Hmm. Figure the pens would have ink, but no, that's not how the game works. So this turn that frown upside down. These are Mr. Dull. So turn that frown upside down. I wonder if something is bothering him. Oh, okay. Frown upside down. So this upside down. Seven, seven, three, four. Ah. Ooh, red ink. A letter, quite perfumery, and sealed with a kiss. Choose to take an object with you or not. Should I be dabbling in matters of the heart? Heavily scented love letter in a dainty pink envelope addressed to Mr. Dalsworth. It is sealed with a kiss and a few stray purple hairs. Should I be dabbling in matters of the heart? Maybe I should leave this here and not show Mrs. Dalsworth. Maybe I should leave this here. What a tidy desk. Aha! Now I am legitimized. A pleasant and uneventful evening to you, Mr. Fiddles. My ticket out of here. Evening, Burble. Evening, Burble. Distinct lack of murderings lately. Jeff the murderer not struck again for a long time. Let me have a look at that. Obviously a slow news day. Uh, tell me about it, sir. I've been shouting about nothing for over a year now. Well, they do say no news is good news. Huh. Not for me, it ain't. Evening, Burble. No murderings for weeks now. Detective Holmes on holiday. Are pickles good for you? Good evening, sir. You're working late. Yes, sir. Another convict escaped last night and ran down the sewers. It's like a maze down there. An escape? How thrilling. Indeed. Whisked clean away whilst no one were looking. Was the convict dangerous? That's not for me to say, sir. I'm just here to fill in some gaping holes. is full of peels.
I must find Mrs. Dalsworth's house and report my findings to her. The Dalsworth estate is at the top of Tormentley Hill, if I recall correctly. I remember you. May I help you? No one touches my orange's cart but me. Oscar, what are you doing? I'm protesting, Bertram. My dear friend, Walter, has been thrown into prison simply for being an artiste. Until Walter is set free, I shall remain enshackled here. Well, I hope you really stick it to the man, Oscar. Me too, Bertram. Me too. Bertram, over here. Evelina, fancy seeing you here. How are you? I've not seen you for such a time. Off having fantastic adventurings, no doubt. Um, not exactly. I, uh, how are you? Have you been busy? Not at all, Bertram. There is so little news to report upon nowadays. Since all those dreadful murderings stopped, I've had nothing to do. I'd really hoped that the Jeff the Murderer story would make my name as an independent investigative journalist. But it's been so quiet recently. Even Sherlock Holmes has got away on an extended holiday. I hope something newsworthy happens soon, or I may be forced to make my own headlines. I'm almost tempted to murder someone myself, just for something to write about. Ah. I'm uh, currently investigating a case for Mrs. Dalsworth. It's nothing much, but I'm hoping it may turn into some sort of fantastical adventure. Dalsworth, eh? Here's a name I've not heard in a while. I know a few things about old squeaky clean Dalsworth that would shock the likes of you. Really, madam? Do you mind? Oh, la -dee da Does your lady friend want some flowers? Oh, no. She isn't my... I mean, I mean I'm not her... The, the, oh. No, thank you, madam. I'm not a flowery person. Suit yourself. I'm going away for a few days. There is something very important I need to do. Off somewhere nice, are you? I shan't tell you any more. It is too complicated. Well, we had a map this time, huh? <laughs> Manborium. This is a good, hefty cane, but I don't have need for such an instrument. Take me ages to mend these mancessories with needle and thread. So it would seem. <laughs> what a fine selection of beards and whiskers. The right beard makes an excellent personality substitute. Would you like to upgrade your facial hair? I am already more than sufficiently endowed in the moustache department. Thank you very much. You can tell a lot about a gentleman by the size of his hat. Are you doing? I've been working late, and Mrs. Dalsworth has asked me to do something. It's not an adventure, is it? You know I forbade you to have any adventurings. They are such a waste of money. Of course, my dear. I wouldn't dream of it. Besides, I am much better off since you started work at the soap factory. Being a baker is a whiskey business. I'm far too busy whisking to talk. Is how I keep my batter so smooth and creamy. She's engrossed in a frenzy of master baking.
The whirling mechanism is second to none. Ooh, pun cakes, my favorite. Ooh, nice buns. Mmm, very Moorish. Don't be twiddling those. You'll ruin my bakery. Don't make me come over there. A rather bleak and sinister alley. Good evening, ma'am. Is it indeed? Be off with you. Idling is frowned upon round here. Such a sour attitude. She has a face like a squashed strawberry. I... <laughs> Take a tram, a modern and exciting way to travel. Suitable for common folks. Uh, toss and even women. Uh, Mokum and Bray's Freak Show. Exceptional wonders of nature. You won't believe. Uh, your eye. Come to Piddle by the Sea. It's never dull. Mr. Oddling's extremely nice uh, beetroot. <laughs> and fig paste. Yay. Introducing the Invisible Man. Durin's Jerkins. Missing, have you seen this bird? Contact G. Hardwood. Care of the Adventurers Club. <laughs> okay, bird's still missing, huh? Miss Lawrence's inexplicable ham. It's not like uh, other meat in a tin. <laughs> Wonderful. Hmm, I feel like the solution is staring right at me. Oh, is that a puzzle? Oh, it is a puzzle, okay. Fig, fig, don't. Take my chances. A ham, bird, tram, fig, dull. Ah, so you are Bertram Fiddle. Why didn't you say so? You're late. Ah, oh, guys, okay. using the cameras to see the thing. Yeah, okay, I get it. The Dullsworth Estate looks like they have cleaned up with their soap business. They must have made a packet. Good day, sir. 
That's a sizable hole you're digging. Yes, sir. Mom has instructed me to dig it, though I don't know why. Splendid plumage for this time of year. Indeed. I don't know what Mom uses for fertilizer, but they are always unseasonably hearty. <laughs> Looks like Mrs. Dalsworth is waiting for me. Yes, sir. Mom is... Look at that! What a lovely sight! Don't be mistaken. Vermin is what that is. Now more than a rat with an exquisitely bushy tail. Always after me nuts. I wish I could be rid of the pesky thing. I've tried everything to catch it, but it's always too fast. How do you do, ma'am? You're late, Mr. Fiddle. I've been watching your dilly-dallyings. It is the sign of a simple mind. That was no dilly-dallying. That was top-quality investigative strolling you witnessed. He has a weak mind, Mr. Fiddle, and is easily led astray. Lately, he has a crazy look in his eyes. I've seen it before, and know he is up to something. I only have his best interests at heart. I need to know what he is doing. Didn't you find anything suspicious? No, nothing at all. I'm sure your son has nothing to hide. You are either lying or a fool, Mr. Fiddle. Which is it? There was nothing of significance in his office, but I will continue my inquirements. He so very rarely sits with me anymore. What lovely specimens! Taxidermy is one of Algernon's hobbies. It takes his mind off things. I see everything, Mr. Fiddle. Everything. A perfect view of the soap factory. I like to keep a close eye on my son. Recently, he has become even more feckless than usual. I'll be off then. If I uncover any more news, I'll be sure to let you know. I will leave no stone unprobed. Make sure you do. I'm only trying to protect him, Mr. Fiddle. A mother is a boy's best friend, Mr. Fiddle. Goodness me, it's you! Here I am. <laughs> oh. Well, well, well. Fiddle. I must admit you had me fooled. I never would have suspected you were Jeff the Murderer. Sherlock, what are you doing here? I thought you were on holiday. 
I just got back, and it's lucky I did, you despicable fiend. But Sherlock, it wasn't me. How could you think that? Well, let me see. Let's look at the evidence. There's a dead body, and there's you. You're quite mistaken. I saw Jeff run off in that direction. It's a shame there aren't any witnesses to back up your ludicrous story. You, madam, did you see what happened? Indeed I did, Mr. Holmes. I heard a scream and looked out my window and saw that man standing over that poor dead lady. Well, thank you, nosy old crone. <laughs> That's all the proof we need. Sherlock, you can't honestly think it was Bertram. Look, murderous footprints leading right to that wall. Take him to Jail Street. Right you are, sir. But it wasn't me. I'm innocent. <laughs> if I had a penny for every time I've heard that one, Fiddle. <laughs> Take him to jail. <laughs> Looks like you won't be winning any wages now, Fiddle. Something doesn't smell quite right, Sherlock. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Watson, you have to believe me. I'm not Jeff. I know, Bertram. I know. Send for Gavin. Tell him I need help. Of course. Hold tight, Bertie. Oh, shush, Watson. Chapter 2. A Wrongful Confinement. Welcome to your new home, you terrible, terrible man. Unhand me, you oaf. Don't you know who I am? Jeff the murderer, by all accounts. Nonsense. I have been framed. I'm innocent. Oh, everyone who comes in here is innocent. Makes no difference to me. Oh, my. What shall I do? I've got to get out of here. All right. Uh, why don't we stop it there? Uh, this is Autopostery watching the adventures of Bertram Fiddle, uh, episode two of Bleaker Predicament on Nintendo Switch. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.